Uh, the number of decedents has not increased. It's still at 23. Yesterday, we were able to positively identify all 23 victims, make families contact, and as of 10 o'clock last night, all 23 victims have been released to the funeral homes of choice by those families for funeral uh, services. Uh, the ages range from 6 to 93, I believe. Uh, there is a printed list that will be handed out that has the victim's name and their age. I'm not going to get in reading it off right now. You can read that for yourself. They'll be handing those out shortly. Um, coroner's office is still not done. Our job now is to uh, assist these families and guide them in any directions toward those final uh, dispositions of those decedents. Uh, I want to thank the SMORT, which is a, it's called the uh, State Mortuary Operations Response Team. I learned early on that afternoon that uh, my resources would be overwhelmed and uh, this is a state asset that the state of Alabama has that most people don't know about. It's conduct, con, uh, comprised of volunteers, of coroners, and med uh, funeral directors around this state. If I make the call or a coroner makes the call, they proceed to that county, and at the discretion of the coroner, they do whatever's needed. We had a team of about eight uh, EMTs, funeral directors, Lee County investigators, Sheriff Jones assigned one investigator to each case. Each case was handled one at a time, and that's why the process took so long yesterday. We had to make sure absolutely that that person was who we were told it was or who we thought it was. Uh, we were able to do that. I thank him and his staff. It was a, a very concerted effort, and we were able to get all that done yesterday afternoon. And uh, Captain Jackson and I talked to the last family about 8 or 9 o'clock last night, and by 10, 10, 10, 30, we had all of them released to funeral homes. Uh, just keep those families in your prayers. So, some, there's one family in there, it was about marriage, they're, they're connected and there are over seven people this man lost in, in one family. So it's a, it's a tragic situation. I can't thank this community enough for, for jumping in there and the support that I've seen firsthand. It's just been amazing. And, and when this is over, I'll, I'll take any questions.